Hey guys, uh, today I'll be reviewing the Caffeine Delshi. Uh, th and these are a fantastic budget items from Caffeine. So, so a key find. Uh, the key find is a new brand which I've never heard of, and they launched this budget item. Uh, so this was a review sent from Keyfine, but all the thoughts and opinions are about to hear are my own. So let's get started. Hey guys, quick break over here. 94% of the people watching this video aren't subscribed. So I would really appreciate if you could hit that subscribe button and also like my video. Uh, that really helps me out a lot and it helps me to bring out more reviews to you. And you can also stay updated for all the latest uh, product reviews I bring. So yeah, back to the video. So the packaging of the Keyfind Delshi is very nice. Uh, it has this minimal packaging. Uh, you get this case, you get the IEM and the cable, and you get some tips. Uh, I really do like this case. It's very pocketable. Uh, you can take this case, uh, put the IEMs, and also you can put some dongle DACs. Uh, so yeah, the case is really nice supplied over here. Uh, the price of the Keyfind Delshi is $59, and uh, they have one DD uh, inside the IEM. Also, when talking about comfort, uh, these are really small. And I mean, look at it. These are really small. So, I mean, I hear a lot of times and I get a lot of complaints from my viewers that uh, can you please suggest me a small IEM? I think so. Uh, till now, my only suggestion was a Moondrop Chew 2. But I'll also be including the Keyfind Delshi in that. Uh, these are really comfortable. I can wear them for long hours. I have tested them and I have had no issues over here in terms of comfort. So, if you are someone with small ears, uh, I think so the Keyfind Delshi makes for a great choice. As these are a DDIM, I have had no uh, driver flex over here and uh, these are also very easy to drive uh, when looking at the specs. But in my opinion, uh, when giving them more power via a dongle DAC, uh, they open up the sound a lot. I mean, the bass sounds crisper, the sound stage is wider, the treble is a lot better. So although the box maintains, uh, box says that it's 21 ohms, in my opinion, supplying a bit more power from a dongle DAC is, uh, is, is it really opens the IEM a lot. So I would really suggest that you try a dongle DAC. Talking about the sound. So the base of Keyfind Delshi is really nice. It has this very smooth, warm sub bass. And when listening to songs like Crack Crack Crackle by Classy, uh, it has this uh, good thump from the sub bass and the rumble, rum, rumbliness of the sub bass or the rumbleness of the sub bass was really good. So that was very satisfying. The mid bass and the sub bass were al aligned very well. Uh, when listening to uh, songs like uh, the Marshall season to OP, uh, the Marshall season to opening. The mid bass was really good over here. It was very tactile, very punchy, and I really like that. Uh, so the bass region overall from the Keyfind Delshi was really good. Uh, they're talking about instrumentals. When listening to the 1985 live album from Cassiopeia, the instrumentals were also very good. Uh, it has this very warm tonality overall, and uh, I I I really enjoyed listening to them with this. Uh, because what I just want to say is uh, I didn't I really didn't expect it to like it so much uh, but I'm really liking this because the overall tonality from that instruments and the sub bass and the mid bass was done really well uh, is done really well in the key find Delshi uh, now talking about the myths the male vocals do take a bit of a backseat uh, like uh, when listening to Chris Connell and Bill Withers they do take a bit of a backseat but the richness and the thickness of the boy, uh, voice from Chris Connell and Bill Withers uh, do, uh, does come across very well in the key find Delshi. The female vocals I thought will be disappointing, when, but when listening to my test track for female vocals, uh, they performed very well. Uh, they were not too shrilly, but not too uh, uh, PSC, uh, but rather they had this right amount of female vocals in my for my taste. And they sounded really good, especially when supplied uh, some power to them via a dongle deck. And one thing which I like about the Keyfind Delshi is that even at higher volumes, this female vocals doesn't become PSG or shrilly. Uh, so yeah, that is a good thing. So if you're someone who uh, do not like the shrilly upper mids, in my opinion, the Keyfind Delshi, uh, Keyfind Delshi is a very good option and you should be looking at that. Uh, now talking about the treble, uh, the treble over here is very nice. It's a bit harmony. Uh, so uh, when listening it at higher volumes, you might find in some songs the uh, treble to be a bit shilly, a bit PSE. Uh, but for me, I have had no issues with that because uh, the Keyfind Delshi is also a very good low volume set. So I have had no issues in PSE or shilly treble. But at, for some tracks for, at higher volumes, you might or some people might have that issue. I just want to mention that. The treble is also very well done and it matches with the bass uh, quite nicely. Uh, the treble extension is also quite okay, nothing great, but for this price range, it is quite okay. Now, what I do like is the overall uh, balance of the sound which Keyfind, uh, Keyfind Delshi has. Many IMs, many warm sounding IMs which exist at this uh, range, they do fall short of something, but the Keyfind Delshi manages that very well. 
uh, for for example at this price range uh, versus uh, at this price range for me the biggest uh, recommendation was the Samga TW200 but for me now it's a key find Delshi because I think so the treble here and the base here uh, they are done very well so overall if you want something warm sounding IM the key find Delshi is really good at this price range but if you want something very clean and neutral then Simgot EW200 is still my is still a suggestion over here versus the RTR one uh, the R1 has a very good uh, wide spacious sound stage but the key find Delshi has a bit of a, a bit of a cramped sound stage although the sound stage is good over here at the key at the key uh, at the key find Delshi uh, but the RTR1 has a bit more wide sound stage and the imaging of the RTR1 is uh, very good and the left to right transition is very good well the key find Delshi it's a bit average over here for the price range so yeah, around this budget price point of $50, for me, uh, Keyfind Delshi is my favorite IEM. Even for under $100, the Keyfind Delshi is my recommendation along with the Simgot e EA500LM. So I really like this IEM. Uh, I think so it is nice to see a different uh, signature, a warm sounding signature, uh, which is not a Harman or a V-shaped IEM. Uh, so yeah, Keyfind did a really good job in this. Uh, in this. I've also, uh, I have never uh, heard of the Keyfind Cleaner, but I have read good, good reviews of them. Uh, so yeah, that's my review of the Keyfind Delshi. Uh, I hope you liked it. If you have any questions, please do ask them below in the comments. 94% uh, of the people watching this video aren't subscribed. So I would really appreciate if you could like and subscribe to my channel. That really helps me out a lot. Uh, you stay updated on all my latest reviews. Uh, it's free and it's a great way to support me too. So yeah, uh, that's my review of the Keyfind Delshi. Thanks for stopping by. I hope you have a great day ahead. Bye.